You know when you wake up sometimes and you just, you wake up on the right side of the bed and you're like, today is gonna be a good day. This gray, cloudy, rainy day can't stop me. My lack of sleep can't stop me. It's gonna be a good day. Like that's how I feel. And those days are very rare for me, honestly. I wake up very dark a lot of the time and I just woke up today being like, you know what? Today's gonna be a good day, my people. I hope you're all having a beautiful start or finish or mid to your day. <laughs> uh, let's get ready together. I've got a meeting downtown this morning and an event, not really an event, I'll explain later, but I'm headed to a meeting first thing this morning. So I am getting ready, putting this little Kosas sunscreen to the test. I've used like 1000 sunscreens at this point, let's be frank, but I'm always happy to test it out and see if it works. And what I like about this one is that it's very juicy. It's very juicy feeling. So one of those ones that I would like to use under makeup um, and just right now because I'm at my absolute palest, my La Roche-Posay tinted one isn't working. I actually do have a fresh bottle of it by itself that I could like use by itself, but <laughs> I just wanted to see how this one works. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I'm taking my end release. I should have just put this on right before, oops, but I, I'm just gonna like pat this in right around my mouth because I am a little bit dry. Uh, listen, I don't switch up my outfits and clothing a lot regardless, but I do like to be a little bit more clean and polished, a little bit more businessy when I go to have a meeting. So I thought we could just get ready and get dressed together. I'm gonna take my Luminous Silk Shade 5. I'm really appreciating the shade of this foundation more and more in my paleness. It's so funny, their shade numbering like makes no sense to me whatsoever. Like the shades and the undertones and whatnot, like shade, oh, I can't even think of which one it is, but like shade 4.5, let's just say. As an example, it might not be accurate to the number that that actually is, but like 4.5 will be like a million shades deeper than shade five. And shade 5.75 could be like way lighter and more yellow than shade five, you know? So with the Armani ones, you really have to like see them swatched <laughs> or see it in person uh, to determine your shade. So anyway, shade five is just my favorite, like more neutral undertone. I think it just suits very nicely without being too white. Like if I, match my skin tone exactly, I can just look a little bit sick. I do like to have some kind of something washing over me, but I think this is just a, yeah, I just love this shade. Anyway, um, Aurelie, Aurelie did my makeup when I was in France with Dior, which is absolutely insane. And I've been kind of like trying to put a few of the tips I learned from her into practice, this being one of them. Like when she was doing my makeup, she was literally going in between like mixing in lotion, pressing everything, like rubbing it into the skin with her fingers after every layer. And usually I would never do that. I would usually just like put the layer on and never touch it again. And she was like rubbing my face the entire time. It was crazy, but I'm um, just doing a very natural, natural like makeup, filling in my brows. I have the Dior Brow Styler. This one's in the shade Blonde. Okay, I have filled in my brows and I'm gonna set them with brow gel after because sometimes when I'm like rubbing in my bronzer, I can accidentally rub them away. So I'm just gonna set them after. I'm gonna use the Westman Atelier Biscuit. This is very cool toned and I'm just gonna put that on my cheekbones. Listen, I'm getting my hair done later today, which is what I'm gonna talk to you about later. And I hate it when I do like my full cream bronzer and I set everything in perfectly and then they wash it away when they do my hair. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really gonna do a light makeup today. Um, and try to not put too much on my forehead just because I know that it's gonna wash away later and I'm gonna look like a crazy person. So doing very, very light natural makeup with the knowledge that that is where I am headed. But I still need to be put together because I have a meeting before that. So if I have a meeting and I'm doing that very like, you know, I wanna be sophisticated and look very chic and whatnot, I always go for the cool tone pinks. That's kind of like, I have different hats with my makeup and if I wanna look like very serious and business casual and cheeky chic, then I will do my like fresh pinks. That's just kind of the vibe I go for. So this one is that new one from Nude Sticks. This is the Sun Kissed Pink. They basically had the original Sun Kissed blush and then they expanded that in the entire Sun Kissed range. So they have Sun Kissed Cool, Sun Kissed Pink. They even came out with Sun Kissed lip products. And this one from the Bunch is very much right up my alley. I really like the color. So I'm gonna do that and then I might top it with something. Well, I might top it with a powder after, but we'll see how we feel about this first. Let's do concealer. I'm gonna use my Armani Luminous Silk Concealer, also in the shade five. Meryl is screaming downstairs. Sorry if you can hear her. Does anyone else's cat do that? Meryl just like, it's so funny because when I adopted Meryl, she actually had a sister. 
she had a sister and they were like must be adopted separately like Meryl doesn't play well with others because she's a very like she's a very very needy cat she gets really jealous and sad if there's any other creature in the building she's not a happy cat but it's so funny because on tiktok whenever i see videos of people like showing their cat doing this and like making this sound it's like oh the cat's lonely and i'm like is she lonely for me or is she just lonely in general because i step away for five seconds and she's howling howling i'm like i just wish she could have a friend to like occupy her 100 of the time like a cute little kitty friend but the adoption center was like absolutely not so I don't know, like maybe Meryl has grown and changed. Like would she love a friend now? I don't know, does anyone speak cat? Can anyone explain this phenomenon to me? Because Meryl is constantly like, oh my God, when we go to bed at night, she will just stand at the door and scream. Basically anytime we close the door, like right now I came into the closet room and I closed the door and now Meryl, like I can hear her, she's standing on the stairs going, wah, wah. like Meryl, I've left you for 20 minutes, come on. Okay, I'm just patting this out. I go between my finger and this little Morphe brush, trying to be so, so light-handed with it. Let's do the lips now. I'm gonna use NYX Nude Beige. I freaking love this lip pencil so much. The color is just divine. It's divine. And I already had on the Dior Lip Oil. <laughs> Cause this combo is just so good especially if i want fresh natural pink like this is just i like how minty the dewar lip oil is actually i find it to be actually like lasting and hydrating um i think that the nyx the nyx mist call is very close you can see the nyx mist call is much warmer than the dewar one so this one that like cool tone of bright fresh pink very much matches what i want it to be the NYX is a little bit warmer but also this one has like a I don't know I just feel like it's so actually hydrating and then there's that little pepperminty in this in it I just love it let me let me love okay <laughs> Victoria Beckham highlight I'm gonna put that on the tops of the cheekbones this is a very very gooey gooey juicy highlight it's very thick and then I need my makeup to last, so I'm gonna take a bit of my Givenchy powder in that same Morphe brush. I truly need to buy more of these. I just, I don't wanna buy the whole set. I just wish you could buy this so badly separately because I love this brush. <laughs> I do not wash it as much as I should be with how much I use it. But anyway, just taking that right on the under eyes and then a bit around the mouth. Benefit setting spray. Okay, you know what, I really loved the new six slate little pencil that we used in the Sophia Ritchie makeup. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of that along my lash line and blend that out. I think the, the cool tone of this was the perfect shade and you can blend it out to be light enough that it's pretty much undetectable, which is so nice. I'm just taking a fluffy brush, blending that on my lash line. Like how nice is that? Just blend it out by itself. I love it. It's so subtle, but then it keeps in with that cool tone that we have in the blush and the lips and the rest of the base. I'm gonna use that Maybelline mascara because I haven't actually like given this a true test yet. It hasn't had the driving test. So this could be dangerous um, when I'm going to a meeting, but also the waterproof might be nice. This will be a good way to see if it flakes and smudges. So uh, yeah, I really loved the look of it when I used it when I filmed that Sophia Ritchie makeup look, the wedding makeup. I was like, wow, this is a nice mascara. I don't love removing a waterproof mascara at the end of the night, which is why I never use it. But again, I'm gonna test it. Today will be a good true test for it. Okay, I just smudged the living bananas out of it. Ah! On my lower lash line. So I'm just taking a little bit of this. <laughs> so it only happened to me when I'm exiting the house, truly. Uh, I'm just taking a little bit of the slate and running that on my lower lashes, which is a little bit more intense than I would have liked it to be on this day. But I couldn't remove that. <sighs> Here, I just kept rubbing it around. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, why does this happen at this hour? So now I need to take a little bit more of it. I'm just doing a small brush and I'm gonna put that a little bit more intensely on the upper lash line so it doesn't look so bottom heavy. And then again, so not what I had planned for the day, but I'm gonna take a bit of the MAC brush brown and just do a little bit of liner. <laughs> oh my god, ah. it looks like an owl. Ah. An owl. Ah. Good. <laughs> Let me don the jewels. Oh my gosh, I still don't know what I'm wearing. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm wearing. I need to take the tags off this. You know what's really funny? Dan's little sister, aka my future sister-in-law, Lara, she actually got me this jacket for Christmas. <laughs> 
which is so cute. Lara, I love you. This is the autumn, autumn jacket from Wilfred, but it hasn't been like springy enough to wear it yet, you know? Now spring hath sprung, and even though it's dark, I feel like I can finally wear it. This is the mango skirt that I bought in my spring clothing haul, my goldie bodysuit, Nelly Lotan belt. These are my very old Isabel Morant boots, which I feel like might be a little bit flat for this, but I kind of like it, especially if I have to walk around. I'll wear my sunglasses and that's what I'm wearing. Let me show you the full look. Don't mind the light in the back. It's dark outside. <laughs> I can't tell if the crop jacket's like too much with this, but that is what I'm wearing. This will be so much better when my hair is down later, but <laughs> for now, this is what we got. Made it alive. Barely. <laughs> we just finished our meeting. Hello, went very well. We had a lovely team. Yeah. And now Vanessa's leaving me. It's fine. <laughs> our meeting ran a little bit longer than um, I thought it would, so I am just bustling to my next appointment here, but uh, it was so good and Vanessa just left. Now I'm actually headed to the brush hair salon and I'm really excited about this actually because um, Tomorrow we're going to be going to an event. Karastas is having an event here, which is always nice when people come out to BC for events because it doesn't happen very often. Most events happen like in Toronto. <laughs> so the team is here and they've actually invited me to go to Brush Salon, which I just parked. Do I have my keys? It's always my fear. Anyway, yes, I'm going to Brush Salon to actually go speak to their product, one of their product educators, which I'm really excited about because Kerastase has so many different lines and I'm like, listen, <laughs> love the Symbios, was so happy to have worked with them on that campaign, but like that's for tackling a specific subject, you know, I'm like across the Kerastase lines, I'd love to like learn more about the other lines, what the best like mix of them would be. And apparently I'm also gonna be getting a very special like salon only Kerastase treatment, which is probably very necessary after the absolute death of a hair job that I had while I was in France. So my hair definitely needs some DLC and I'm gonna go see what's up. I'm also late. Ugh, I'm so sorry. I can't walk fast in this skirt. So I'm here with Heather and we're getting the Fusio Dose. This is the special salon treatment. Oh, it's right there, cute! This is Heather. Hello, Heather. Look at her hair. Fabulous. Fabulous. I love hair I'm just getting a full, full massage. morning. I just realized I didn't actually update you guys after my little blowout yesterday, but had a very early start this morning. And we're actually headed on the bus going to Whistler for the event with Karastas. I'm very excited to see what's up. We just got to the Scandinavian spa. I didn't even know they had a room up here. There's a private room. The spa's down there. We're gonna have a little presentation from the Kerastos team and lunch. We're not allowed to vlog or have cameras at the Scandinavian spa, but we just finished our day. We had a little presentation about the Symbios line, which I very sneakily already had my hands on and already had the pleasure of using, but uh, it's been a lovely day and now we're headed back. They just gave us a bagged lunch to take back on the bus and that's it. I know it's not very exciting for the video, but that's all. Now we go. Good morning. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I have truly been the worst. I've been the worst, but it's just been such a... A wild week and if you'll notice the timing I'm basically like I've been filming all of this week because for the first week of everyday May I'm actually gone I'm leaving today I'm leaving this morning and I'm kind of in and out for the next week the next seven days I'm doing three different trips 
and I think I've been so stressed about it because um, even like coming home from France, like I haven't been able to shake the jet lag. Like I've had a really, really hard time like getting back onto sleep and back into my schedule. So it's just been a rough week of like trying to stick to my workouts, trying to sleep, trying to get over the jet lag and like obviously the excitement coming home from France like it was just such a such a crazy trip such a pinch me moment and just like everything that followed that with Picante and Sophia Richie's wedding like I was just it was just a lot mentally like a lot of excitement and so I feel like I've just been absolutely all over the place uh, in preparation trying to get ready for every day May so uh, I just needed to wrap up this vlog because the last two days were also a blur like even just like driving to and from all these things it just takes so many hours out of your day you know so we left, I left for the Carasos, um event in Whistler yesterday. We met the team, like everyone met up at 9.15 a.m. Uh, to head to Whistler. And then last night I didn't get home till 7.30. And I was literally frantically packing because this morning I'm leaving for my girlfriend's bachelorette. Oh my God. So I just, yeah, sorry. I haven't like nicely rounded this up and packed up, but oh my gosh, it's been, yeah, it's been fun. I figured I just would let you know what happened. Basically, you guys know, listen, Armine was informed that I was going to another salon. And I did that because uh, Heather is one of the Karastos hair educators in Vancouver. So I was actually really excited to meet them because obviously I had done the Symbios campaign with Karastos uh, a few weeks ago. And I was super excited because Karastos, like, you guys know, Blonde Absolute, it was just, it was a dream of mine for sure. And I was so, so, so happy and grateful to have been able to do that with Karasas. That was really fun. But they also just have so many products. They have so many different lines. And obviously like I have known and used Blonde Absolute and I know I can still use it because technically like my hair is highlighted and low lighted, like my hair is colored. So the conditioner is just like really phenomenal. Um, and but I wanted more information. I was like, can you just tell me like what I should be using? Can I speak to someone? So they were so kind to set that up uh, with Heather, which was really cool. And it was interesting because they have that specific treatment that you can get done at specific salons. It's so cool that you can choose different dosages depending on what you need for your hair, which I thought was really fun. This isn't sponsored by the way, okay? I just, this is just, I am telling you about the experience because I think it's fun, but no, I'm not working with Care Sauce in this video, but they did set that up. That was a gifted treatment, but uh, yeah, it, they basically just like diagnose your hair, look at what you need. My hair is like really dry, <laughs> really frizzy. So she put like extra hydration in and you can get those treatments kind of like once a month if you wanted to and apparently that will last in your hair like up to six washes so i'm kind of just letting it live and it does feel very nice and sleek but uh, i basically asked heather like what i should be using in my hair and she recommended the chroma absolute and this is one of the products that i hadn't ever tried from Carousel. So she recommended these to me and she also said because my hair is so dry that I should not be using a conditioner and I should just go straight into a mask every time I wash, which was news to me. That was interesting. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I had never used this Chroma line. And then she also gave me the leave-in serum, the kind of, this is like anti-frizz, antioxidant. It's a heat protectant and it's for sensitized or damaged color treated hair, AKA my head. So that's gonna be perfect. And then another thing that I didn't realize, like I'd literally never seen Kerastase styling products. I had no idea they had it. <laughs> <laughs> but she had like a volumizing spray, a hairspray, everything. And I was like, what the heck? Where are these styling products? I didn't know, I had no idea they existed. So she actually gave me this Le Incroyable blow dry. The Miracle Reshapable Heat Lotion with long wear hold. How fun. So she said I can use this uh, when I use my air wrap and I do my own blowouts. So that was very, very sweet and learned a lot. Got to meet uh, more people from the Kerastase team. So that was really fun and just had a lovely day had a lovely day at the spa and obviously like you can't bring your camera or your phone into the scandinavian spa they literally have people walking around with quiet jackets like you're not allowed to speak no filming all that goodness so i just soaked it up and had a nice little spa moment and uh yeah now here we are and now i am packing and i actually have two trips that i'm packing for which is why i have my suitcase and my carry-on but just figuring that out right now and gonna head out so whoa whoa i brought my eye mask i'm going to absolutely try my best to have a very good nap on the flight and i am still i still don't know if i'm gonna vlog with the girls for the bachelorette because i feel like that's just like gal pal time but if we sneak in a couple clips then i'll i'll say hello once we're in vegas 
going to Vegas for a bachelorette. Like, who am I? We're getting old, we're getting old, we're getting married, we're having bachelorettes. It's crazy, this is super fun. So, love you guys a lot, so hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and my frazzled brain. <laughs> and I'll see you all tomorrow for a new Everyday Made video. Bye!